if you were to make a list of your top five best performances, which two performances will definitely part of that list? I, I mean, a romantic scene or a melodramatic scene. What is tougher for you? I think the toughest thing is what quality of a director makes things easier for you on the sets. Um, I don't look for. If we ask Mr. Kamal Hassan to describe you in three words, what do you think he'll say? <laughs> A rumor you heard about yourself that made you laugh. Somebody, I, I mean, I've said this. I can do anything for my love except. Oh, there's many. I mean, I, I like singing more than acting. Uh. How do you rate following things on a scale of one to ten based on their importance in your life? Awards, singing, <laughs> film critics, spirituality, politics. I would say around. Uh, Shruti, so we'll we'll end this interview with rapid fire with you. Let's go. Okay. Um, if Shruti Hasan were a brand, what would be the tagline? Oh my God. Uh, if I were a brand, what would my tagline be? <laughs> if you break it, you buy it. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, a multi-purpose, some sort of multi-purpose product. That's what I would be for everyone in the home, uh, trusted for years. Shruti Hasan, the best multi-purpose product. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think the best one was uh, you break it, you buy it. I think that one was. <laughs> okay, if you were to make a list of your top five best performances, which two performances will definitely part of that list? I, I mean, I don't know. I look back at some of them, and I'm still proud of some moments. And then I, I always want to grow. But I I wouldn't say top five like be best performance, but I I'd say the performances that I've enjoyed a lot were D Day, Three, and uh, a film called Sri Mantru and Race Guru. Now see the list just gets long, longer and longer. I've enjoyed Best Seller a lot as well. I put that on that list. A romantic scene or a melodramatic scene? What is tougher for you? Neither. I think the toughest thing is comedy, like getting it right. I love, uh, I love faking romance because even in person, I'm not the most romantic person. So it's just so fun for me to do that there. Melodramatic, I am. I'm just dramatic for no reason. Uh, comedy, like I said, is probably the the most challenging thing, and I love comedy. What quality of a director makes things easier for you on the sets? Um, I don't look for a director to make things easy for me. I like directors who challenge my thought, you know, not, not me, like, you know, as a, a misogynistic way or something, but like in a, in a, in a thought way. I think uh, when a director is very clear, very, very clear, almost like razor sharp clear, but has room for negotiation of thought. I think that's a beautiful combination. All right. Clear and collaborative. Any director that comes to your mind who, who has that quality? I definitely think Prashant Neel, Gopi, who I'm doing my third film with. What is something you wish to do but can't because you are very popular? I to do everything. Oh, I know. I've never, I've been very curious and I've never been able to do it is be on a dating app. All my friends who are not famous are on dating apps and they swipe left and right and like reject people and accept people and go on these interesting blind dates. So I can never do that. So yeah. How much would you rate yourself in cooking out of 10? I give myself a nine. What is it that you, that, that you think that you can make really, really good? Uh, my grandmother's sambar recipe and, uh, I make all sorts of different things. I cook meat well, I cook vegetarian well. Baking, I'm trying to get better at. I'd give myself like a four on baking. But cooking, I'm pretty good actually. And it, and I'm not being pompous because I was very bad at it and I worked really hard at it. If we ask Mr. Kamal Hassan to describe you in three words, what do you think he'll say? You'd have to ask him. I think one person to predict his response, the hardest would have to be my dad, as you can imagine. All right. Okay. A rumor you heard about yourself that made you laugh. Somebody, uh, I mean, I've said this, like I've heard lots of random rumors. And like I said, usually there's no smoke without fire. Like it doesn't even have to be about uh, a person or a link up. Like there'll be some, okay, maybe they thought this or this, but there was one entire interview and uh, a fake article that I love fruit so much that I like to smell like fruit and that I have perfumes that range from papaya to pineapple to strawberry and I was like 
who has made this effort to lie that I like fruits so much? It was so bizarre. It made me laugh a lot. How would you rate following things on a scale of one to ten based on their importance in your life? Awards. So one being the most important. Less, least important, and ten being the most. One and a half. <laughs> Singing. Ten. Film critics. Two and a half. <laughs> Spirituality. Eleven. Oh, that's interesting. Politics. I would say around uh, six. Around six. Okay. Complete the following sentences, please. When I'm angry, one thing no one should do around me is ask me to calm down. <laughs> it's just really bad. I can do anything for my love except. Oh, there's many. Th- I mean, I can do anything for my love except probably touch a snake. I really hate snakes so much. Like even thinking about it in my head right now makes me weird. No snakes. I can't do anything with snakes. A question that I'm absolutely tired of answering in interviews is: When are you going to get married? I like singing more than acting. Uh, false. I like them both equally today. If you had asked mm-hmm. me this question like a couple of years ago, it would be true. <laughs> At the peak of my acting, <laughs> yeah. I regret doing some films. True. I would love to make my debut as a director soon. Not soon, but someday. Yes. Someday. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. <laughs>